Olá, família. Tudo bem com você? Tudo bem, tudo bem, tudo bem. Como você está fazendo? So, how are you, Ben? We are so happy to have you here. We have 79 people here watching us. So, it's a pleasure to have you here. Can you speak Portuguese just a little bit sometimes to help me? Um poquito. Olá, família. Olá, família. Que tal? Que tal Spanish, right? Yes. I tell you what. I tell you what. You speak in Portuguese, you speak in and, Portuguese I you and I tell you what you're telling me in English. English. I translate because speaking is a problem because I mix the language, Italian, Italian, Portuguese, Italian, Portuguese, and, uh, and uh, Spanish. Spanish. But when someone speaks to me any speak li me, Latin, Latin language, Latin I just pick it up. I just pick it up. Okay, I'm just putting my headphones just a uh, just a second Definitely. because I forgot to to put my headphones. So. Um, yeah, no problem. I'm getting my uh, Café do Brasil. Really? I'm, I'm having some coffee here. Yeah, Brazilian? Like, let, let's yeah, sound. Brazilian coffee. See, it's a Café do Brasil. Whoa! Gente, ele tá tomando Café do Brasil. Que legal! Yeah. A gente fica muito feliz. It is. <laughs> Brinde. Cheers. You say, you say, wait. <laughs> <laughs> in France, we say, hold on, hold on, hold on, do it again. In France, we go like chin chin. Chin chin. 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 Yeah. Um, do, do you live in France, right? I'm in France at the moment, yeah. In, at the moment, I'm in France because there's the, um, you know, the coronavirus, the T virus for real, all yes. around the globe. And I'm stuck in France. There is a uh, quarantine, confinement in Francais, confinement in English. So I'm just waiting, playing Resident Evil on my stream on, in uh, not Instagram, on Twitch and YouTube. I invite you to go check. I was there today. You saw me. I, sa I said, bom dia, boa tarde, amigo. <laughs> that was you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, I'm just uh, saying to people what you just said, ok? Yeah. Uh, gente, ele disse que ele tá, em, ele tá na, na França, né? Porque ele tá em confinamento por causa do coronavirus, né? Então, uh, where are you from? De onde você é, Ben? Can uh, you someone, tell us? Someone says, like, uh, pequeno, by, by how we saying, I'm from India. I'm not from India. I'm Algerian. North Africa, Algeria. Como Zidane, Zinedine Zidane. Oh, ok. Ele é da, da Argélia, right? Yeah, North Africa, Algeria, oh. yeah. Like okay. Benzema, Nasri, Zidane, all Algerian and all uh, Hispanic looking guys. Why? Let me explain you why. Because North Africa and Andalusia and, po and Portugal used to uh, be Muslim areas for 800 years. So there's a lot of influence, exchange, mutual influence between North Africa and Spain and Portugal. There's even places in North Africa where the official language is still Spanish. And you can even see like the facial bone structure. You can tell that we look very similar and you can tell that there were a, a lot of influence between the two areas and that was before Isabella e Fernando of, of Spain, you know, La Reconquista was before. That yes, explains why, um, actually, North Africans are closer than Latin Americans are from Spain and Portuguese. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah. You speak Portuguese really well. You speak a lot of languages, right? You speak yeah. um, English, um, French. <laughs> Okay. English, French, uh, classical Arabic and all the dialects, and Japanese. This is fluent, okay? Fluent languages. Then I speak Whoa. Spanish, Portuguese, uh, German, Russian. I know Hebrew and I'm still learning Korean, uh, Chinese Mandarin. And uh, what else? This is it, I believe. Italian too. Just that. Só. Apenas isso. 
Gente, ele fala muitos idiomas. Ele fala é, japonês, francês, inglês, árabe, italiano, espanhol, português. Meu Deus do céu, russo, sei lá o quê, marciano. Ele fala de tudo, gente. Ele fala... A, a língua do, do, de Júpiter. I'm just good at That's amazing. Up languages, you know. I think. Yeah, I like I like learning languages as well. Uh, we we first talked when I was uh, I posted uh, a story on Instagram about my Japanese book. Yeah, It's, I remember. Uh, Minna no Nihongo. 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 Mira-san, eu até chamo Mira-san desse. <risos> gente, a gente se conheceu porque a gente começou a conversar porque eu fiz um story meu estudando japonês e ele viu e aí ele comentou, ah, eu conheço esse livro, é o Minano Nihongo, que até a nossa sensei é, fez uma, uma live. Eu fiz uma live recentemente no meu canal do YouTube com a minha sensei de japonês de Nihongo. E ela deu várias dicas de como aprender o idioma. Yeah. There's someone who writes something in Russian. He says as dias tolko ya ruski. I believe it's Tereshku von Italy. So you Italian or you Russian? I don't get it. Okay. I don't understand Russian, so I'm like What's going English. on here? Beautiful <laughs> I love Russian. And uh, since we are talking about learning Japanese, uh, you were in Japan when you you were living in Japan at the time you you were uh, casted as Carlos, right? Yes. Yeah. When was, I was it? Gonna leave, you... I was gonna leave Japan, and believe me, what a coincidence! I was gonna leave Japan. And then my agency called me and say, are you available for a uh, Capcom project? And I was like, uh, I'm supposed to leave. They say, how about you just say a little bit longer? And maybe you go on vacation, like in, in the country next to Japan. So I went to Korea to Seoul. You come back and we'll work that out. And I say, okay. And that's how I got the job, actually. I was going to leave Japan. I was, someone else was going to be Carlos. Uh, let's say it was written in the stars. In the stars. Yeah. <laughs> Gente, ele falou que ele estava quase indo embora do Japão quando ele foi chamado para fazer o Carlos. Aí falaram, ah, não quer ficar mais um pouquinho? Daí ele ia de férias para a Coreia, para Seul, e ele resolveu ficar, né? Porque né, era o job, graças a Deus, estava escrito nas estrelas, né, gente? Estava escrito nos stars. É isso. <laughs> What you was it? Do you, do you remember? Yeah, the, the, the day I was contacted, the day I did the job, was on this, uh, December 25th, for sure. It was on a December 25th. But when they contacted me, not quite sure, because there's m many agencies that actually contact, uh, contacted me for that precise job. But then it, they just dropped the whole thing. So I believe they contacted me uh, maybe three months before we did the job. But before that, Some other agency told me about the Capcom project, and I believe it was the same. So they just postponed it, and finally, another agency called me. Because I got uh, multiple agencies in Japan. And they got the job for me. I got lucky. Uh, you said December? On the de no, on December 25th, 2017, I believe. That's where they... Uh, I did the... Uh, On Christmas? I believe, yeah. Yeah, like end of December. Wow! Gente, eles gravaram no... Ele, ele fez um negócio no Natal. Uh, 2000, 2017, right? 2017. Yeah. Almost 2018, basically. Ok. Nossa, gente, então, quando... I was quando... supposed to do it... I was supposed to do it on... January or February 2018, but I had something to do. So I asked them if it was okay to do this earlier on December. 
and they say yes. Uh, então, o trabalho, gente, começou a ser feito em 2017. E eles até adiantaram para ele porque eles iam começar em 2018. Então, foram uh, two years of development then. Então, yeah. foram dois anos de desenvolvimento. Ok. So, the, actually, I believe, according to my sources, the game, they started to develop the game right after, or like, simultaneously, Uh, with uh, Resident Evil 2, because there's part of Resident Evil 2 that you can play in Resident Evil 3, like you know, uh, Kendo Shop, RPD, and it's, that's it, I believe. You know, there's places in Resident Evil 2 that you find in Resident Evil 3, so mm -hmm. they mix the places. RPD, yeah, and, and also next to Kendo Shop. Do you remember that? The, oh, the Moon Donuts, you mean? It's not no, in Resident Evil 2. Candle Shop. Candle Shop. Oh, Candle. Oh, I was yeah. like Candy Shop. It was like, what? Not Candy Moon Shop. Moon Donuts, no. Candle. <laughs> so, Candle and RPD uh, were uh, made before, right? Yeah. During the development of RE2. And then maybe they, they decided in between yeah, think, to do I think the. It was I think it was planned okay. from the beginning, I think. It was the project mm -hmm. from the beginning. Mm -hmm. The idea was to extend. Hmm? Mm -hmm. uh, gente, é, just, just a quick uh, translation. Ele falou que, uh, na verdade, foi feito em... É, em... Foi meio que feito em simultâneo, mas como eles já tinham, né, já estava pronto ali o RPD e a loja do Kendo, então ele acha que já estava, né, definido desde o começo, que os jogos iam ser desenvolvidos simultaneamente, né. Então, por isso, mas ele mesmo, ele foi contratado no final de dezembro, fez o trabalho no final de dezembro, foi contratado uns meses antes, fez no final de dezembro, e era para ele ter feito em 2018 o trabalho. Então, eu acho que eles estavam ali só criando cenários para depois incluir os personagens. Uh, I was gonna ask you something about Carlos. Um, did anyone from the production said uh, uh, where Carlos was from or not? You just listen. You see, when I got on the, someone took me by the train station in Osaka, Osaka station, Osaka Ikini. The guy working for Capcom. Uh, took me from uh, the station to the taxi and in the taxi I was asking him trying to get information because I knew I knew it was gonna be Resident Evil soon as I heard Carlos and Capcom I was that's it that's Resident Evil so I was trying trying to get information but he didn't want it to tell me anything so I told him you know if it's Carlos it has to be before Resident Evil 2 or after so I asked him is it a, uh, a sequel of Resident Evil, or maybe Resident Evil 3 Remake, he said, Nanimo wa iwanai, soro dekinai. I can't tell you nothing. So I say, okay, that's a secret, nazo des, that's a, that's a secret. And as we were heading through Capcom office by Osaka, the studio where we did a uh, photometric, uh, um, the, 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 sh uh, the shooting, is uh, some people I was trying to get information from. They were not willing to share nothing. They, they, um, they were very, very uh, distant, you know. Even pictures. I was trying to take pictures and say, no, soreo dame des, dame. Forbidden. Dame. Dame. <laughs> That's what they say, yeah. Dame. Yeah, it's like, you can't. No, it's yeah. prohibited. Yeah. Gente, ele falou que ele tentou até, quando ele foi, quando ele foi encontrar o rapaz da Capcom na estação para ir até o táxi, ele ficou tentando ali, porque ele já sabia que ia ser o Carlos. Então, ele tava tentando tirar alguma informação, sabe? Se ia ser o 3, se ia ser uma sequência. O cara não falou nada, falou que era tudo, tudo secreto, tudo né, confidencial. Chegou lá, ele até tentou tirar umas informações também, não conseguiram tirar nada. E até foto era proibida. E eles falavam, dame, dame. Eu sigo, gente, uns perfis de longe. Lontra, e as lontras, elas são bem danadas, viu? As, as lontras domésticas do Japão. E eles sempre falam, dame, dame! Dame desse. <risos> there, are of, 
other other cafe do, do you have do you know other cafe in in Japan there are other cafes like um, cat cafe where you find uh, cats you can play with them and there are other cafe oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can play you yeah, can yeah, play yeah. with the otters oh it must be yeah, so yeah. cute there's a there's kitty cafe uh, there's a, even like a, other animals you know there's not only cats there is a what's the name we say hibu in french i don't know what's the name like like birds and like night birds you know they can go i don't know what's the name night birds coruja the, you know, the, the the birds from the night they only look at you and they go like hoo, 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 hoo. i forget the name it's a coruja 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 there is coruja cafe as well Whoa. you go to uh, <laughs> Hikibo, uh, Hikiro, uh, Hikebukuro. It's a very, uh, how can I say, popular place for uh, young people, you know. And there's so many cafes like that. There's there's a lot of team. There's on, not only animals. There's mangas cafe, for example, Hokuto no Ken cafe, Gundam coffee. There's so many things to see in, in Tokyo. It's really cool. Go there. I was going to Japan uh, this year on March, and But then coronavirus stopped me because I, everything was was bought. Uh, I had ordered, I, I had reserved the hotels. We are Ooh. going to Tokyo and then Osaka. Uh, we had a. Um, I forgot the name, but <laughs> we we were going to Hakone. Mm. And uh, we were going to spend like uh, 20 days in Tokyo. And the rest of the month, we are going to Osaka, uh, Nara. We are going Nara. to Nara. Yeah. Nara is an island, huh? Nara is an island. I don't know. <laughs> I It don't is. know. <laughs> I think Nara is a... You go to uh, Okinawa. And in Okinawa, there is a place called Nara. If my memory is good. We have the Bambis there, right? Yeah, the Bambis so you, right you there. Get, the, you give okay, them food. Is, yeah, and there's a place like this too next to Hiroshima and Nagasaki where, you know, there's a, an island. You have to take a ferry to go to that place. And there's plenty of Bambis like animals. I'll, oh. I'll send you a picture if I found. If I, you find me like okay. you some food too. I'll send you the picture if you want. I still have it. Okay. Gente, a gente tava falando de Japão aqui, vocês desculpem, mas é porque eu fico emocionada quando toca nesse ponto, porque eu ia para o Japão e eu tô tão triste que eu não fui, deixa eu prender meu microfone, eu tô tão triste que eu não fui e isso até atrapalha meus estudos, porque eu dei uma desanimada, mas eu vou voltar com força total para ano que vem, depois do coronavirus, eu vou para o Japão e se o Ben estiver lá, a gente marca de fazer uma jogatina de Resident Evil juntos. Uh, if I'm going to Japan next year, if you are there, uh, we you. can... Yeah, you we can have you. a copy and yeah. then we can have a live stream together. We'll do that. If I'm, if I'm in Japan, but yeah, sure, definitely. Just to answer a question, there's Nat Dono who's telling me, who's saying uh, Okinawa is an island, right? There's four main islands in Japan. There's Hokkaido in the north. Hokkaido, Ho means north, you know, in Hokkaido. Like Hokkaido, Hokuto means north. Then you have Onshu. Onshu is like the main island. You have, um, you have Okinawa, and the fourth one is Onshu, Hokkaido. Forgot the, f there's ma four main archipels, and all the rest is tiny island. This is why you mm -hmm. call it an archipel. So just to answer Nat Dono, let's get back to what you were saying. Olha a Nath, a Nath aí trazendo curiosidades. A Nath é uma grande amiga minha. She's a very good friend of mine. So, and she learns Japanese. She, she plays taiko. You know taiko? What's taiko? 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 I know taekwondo. Taiko? No, 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 not Taekwondo. It's a, it's a, it's Taiko. Uh, what is it? Nath, me ajuda. 
Nachi, help me. I don't know. <laughs> wait, wait a second. There's a friend of mine there. Hey, Chocopop 57. Si tu parles portugais, là, aide-moi. I, I think he speaks he speak some Portuguese from uh, Cabo Verde. You know? You know Cabo Verde? Yes, uh, it's in Africa, right? Yeah, it's like North Africa, a small island. And they speak a dialect. So, and he, he do speak Portuguese. I know that he can speak Portuguese. Maybe he can help me sometimes. Choco Pops, je compte sur toi. I'm just telling uh, my friend. Let's, let's, mm. make a, let's make a deal. You teach me Japanese, I'll teach you Portuguese. Yeah, definitely, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Falei para ele, ó, ele me ajuda a estudar japonês, eu ajudo ele a estudar português. Pronto, ó, perfeito. Vamos até fazer, a gente pode fazer umas lives estudando japonês. Estudando japonês com Ben Mokhtar. Studying Japanese with Ben Mokhtar. We, can, we, should, do, we should do live streams together. Oh! Oh! So cute! So cute! Um, about, um, still about Resident Evil, um, you are a fan of Resident Evil, you, you played it oh, before. I was a big fan, big fan of Resident Evil 2, because that's the first game I played in the Resident Evil trilogy, or trilogy. That's the first uh, Resident Evil approach I had on PlayStation, and then I played the, the third one, then I went back to Resident Evil 1, Then I played maybe zero, but I didn't finish. Then I went to Code Veronica on Sega Dreamcast. And then after that, I didn't have time because I, uh, I was involved with my studies and I was traveling and I had a lot of things to do. So I didn't finish Resident Evil 4. I think it was on, on, on GameCube, a Nintendo console or something. Then Resident Evil 5, I think it was on PlayStation, but I didn't finish it. PlayStation 2, I think. Or three, not not sure. So mainly, I'm a big um, fan of the the trilogy. One, two, three, Viva l'Algérie, and Resident Evil, uh, Code Veronica. Great. So you yeah. like Code Veronica? Yeah, I finished it. Yeah, it's one of my favorite ones. And uh, Taina is, is telling me that uh, Jeff Shine's uh, wife. You know Jeff Shine? He did the voice for Carlos. In English, right? She, yeah, she's in the chat. Where is Where she? Is? Where is she? Talk, talk to what, us. What's her name? What's her name? I don't know. <laughs> okay, Jeff Shine, her. wife. Hello. Hope you're doing good. Hello. Your husband is a great guy. He did a great job. I love what he does. I know he's the, the voice of Captain America too, isn't it? I heard something yes. like this. And um, yeah, it's a great guy. And um, thank you. Okay. <laughs> o nome dela é Daniela. Eu acabei de banir uma Daniela, na verdade, mas tudo bem. <laughs> Just Brazilian? Yeah, Jeff, she said. She Jeff, didn't Jeff wife said. is Brazilian? She is? No, 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 I'm, no, no. I'm asking, I'm asking, because you say you know her or she's in the chat, so I'm surprised. Here is a, a misconception of, um, of uh, some fans of the Resident Evil saga. I actually signed a contract, you know, with Capcom for body and face. There were two contracts. One was mm -hmm. only face, only face or only body. That was a choice to make. And the other contract was body plus face. The contract we signed with my agency and the guarantee we had was body and face. So just to clarify, and I did motion capture of the face and all the things in the studio. They've been putting dots in my face and I was doing like some sequence of facial expression, you know, like for example, you see all the expression in the face, it's actually Jeff's uh, work, I believe, that did the, the motion capture the mock-up, and I think they may have used the same process on his face, you know? So they put like some colors, some dots, that matches the dots they did in, in my face. So when he goes like this, my, uh, yeah. my face, the sequence we did, there's a sequence when I'm like this, like this, like this, you know? 
plenty of expression. It takes the whole day to do that. So it's like a symmetry process. Ah, ok. Yeah. Ah, gente, ele estava falando que ele fez o processo de corpo e de rosto também, né? É, e ele estava contando que ele fez a captura, porque assim, eles põem os pontinhos né, no rosto dele. Então, quando ele faz algum movimento, ah, aí, tipo, por exemplo, ele faz assim, né? A pessoa que, é, que vai fazer o mocap depois, aí, na hora que levanta, ele faz o, a movimentação também. Uh, someone asked, <laughs> yes, exactly. So, someone asked about why did you not do the the voice? Well, you're not a well, voice actor, are you? He's 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 something interesting. I don't know why. I don't know why. My my idea is that my uh, opinion on that is that maybe. You know, Carlos in the, the original version has a kind of a European Caucasian looking like Carlos, you know, white Carlos. But the voice has an accent, the English version of Carlos, because mm -hmm. Japanese voice of Carlos is uh, Hiroki Yasumoto, who's, by the way, the, the voice of Carlos since 19, uh, 2003, I believe. But the design of ancient Carlos and new Carlos, it's the same guy, Yasumoto, uh, Hiroki Yasumoto. By the way, I'm a big fan of that guy. I'm a really big fan mm -hmm. of that guy. I'm so honored to be the chair of the same face. So basically, uh, the voiceover has been attributed to some other people. There's, there's, for example, the French voice is an actor called David Mondino. Hi, David Modino, you made a, a great job. The Japanese voice is Hiroto, uh, Hiroki Yasumoto. The English voice is Jeff, uh, mm -hmm. Jeff Shin, right? Yeah. Captain America voice. So Jeff Shin. Uh, there's seven voiceover. There's seven voiceover. Seven, seven well, languages. unfortunately, we don't have a Portuguese, uh, Brazilian no. Portuguese localization. No, I thought, oh, that's sad. No, I thought that the Portuguese version was there, but that's only the subtitles. Yes. Russian, Portuguese, and uh, Polish, it's only subtitles. There's no voice for them. There's Spanish yes. voice. There's Japanese voice. There's French. There's uh, English, German. A total of seven voice actors behind this. But why I didn't get the privilege to do that, I have no idea. I would have loved to do it. I'm a polyglot. I could have do that for sure, especially Japanese voice, because I worked on the Japanese voiceover, been taking class, accent reducing class, and all the stuff behind to become an actor in Japan. But mainly I'm doing modeling in Japan. So I've been doing... Uh, some roles in movies and commercial. I'll send you the link if you want to. But I always die. So I'm an actor as well. You're an actor as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's so nice. Gente, ele falou que não sabe por que ele não foi chamado para fazer a dublagem. E eu comentei com ele que a gente não tem dublagem em português. And so many games have the, the localization for voices in Portuguese. I don't know what Capcom is waiting for because we have so many fans here. Mm. That's so oh, sad. Someone is telling, is telling me Yasumoto Hiroki is also Germany's Va in Hita. Yeah, is also, also king in One Punch Man. Okay, let me talk about uh, Hiro, uh, Hiroki Yasumoto because I really like that guy. Hiroko, uh, Hiroki Yasumoto has been uh, behind the voice of 197 characters in mangas and video games. 197. That's huge. Huge. That's really, really a lot of work because it's not only one time. It's like episode. You take, for example, One Punch Man, King. He does the mm -hmm. voice for all the episodes, not only one video game. That, that guy is really talented. He has like a big mm -hmm. voice. I like it. Okay. Um, about, since you, you talked about anime, it's anime or anime? It's anime, anime. right? Anime. anime. 
anime. And uh, do you have a favorite anime? Of course I do. Which Hokuto one? No Ken. Hokuto no Ken. Hokuto no Ken. Mune ni nanatsu no kizo tokoda. The man with the seven scars on the, on the, on the chest. You don't know? No, uh, I'm watching. I was never a anime person, and then I started learning um, Japanese, and then my husband loves animes. So uh, we first watched it like four years ago when we started dating. Uh, we saw Death Note. And then now we are having more anime. So my favorite is Steins Gate. Do you know Steins Gate? Uh, it's That's time travel. Time yeah, Spirit. it's an anime. Steins Gate. Time travel, like uh, like Trunks in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> You're a nerd. You're such a nerd. You are otaku, hey, right? I like old school mangas. Hokuto no Ken. Sintosia, Dragon Ball, those mangas, you know, or oh, Grandizer, Mazinga Zetto, Mazinga, this is old school manga. But new <laughs> mangas, <laughs> except One Punch Man and Shingeki no Kyojin. It's yeah, the, the uh, it's Attack on Titan uh, here yeah. uh, at, at uh, the, the Occident, right? And... Yeah. Um, And uh, you, you are otaku. You are otaku. I used to be a big otaku. I used to be a big video game uh, player, gamer. But then okay. I had to travel and I, uh, and then I, I, I went to Japan. I lived in Japan and I went back to studying Japanese, acting in Japan, modeling in Japan. I went in a uh, institute, a language institute for two years in Japan. And, you know, because if you want to work in Japan, if you want to be an actor in Japan, you have to learn the language. So before I went to Japan, I started to learn by myself the grammar, you know, bumpo. Mm -hmm. We have an expression here in Brazil. It's funny. I'm sorry. I have to teach you this. Uh, when someone likes anime and uh, Japanese culture uh, as a whole, um, We call them, <laughs> this is so ridiculous, uh, otaku soju. What's soju? It's like a dirty otaku. Dirty otaku? <laughs> Nasty. Otaku fedido. <laughs> By the way, do you know what otaku means? It's nerd, right? It's like nerd. The meaning no. of otaku means home. Someone's home. home. Yeah, home. Because mm. they stay at home. And they just um, playing video games or watching mangas. Literally, hotaku oh, means course. home. You know, home is ie for everybody. Uh -huh. but when it's your own home, there is a specific word that happens to be otaku. Oh, I thought it was uchi. Uchi. Uchi, uchi is home too, but it's generally mm -hmm. for everybody. But when you're talking about your personal house, Are you filling a form? Otaku is your personal address, your personal place where you're living. This is otaku. <laughs> Everyone is laughing a lot. It's like smelly otaku. It's like um, uh, dirty otaku. It's like otaku fijido, otaku sojo. The people who go to conventions of animes or Japanese culture, we have festivals here. So the people who like the, the nerd Japanese culture is called otaku fijido, otaku sojo. And I love to, to teach those horrible expressions. <laughs> You know what? I'll tell you something. The first thing that you learn when, when you want to uh, learn a language somehow is the bad words. Yes. It's always like that. Yeah. I still don't have the courage to ask my sensei about the bad words in Japanese, but she kind of uh, answered some questions from the audience uh, last year. So we have, she said there are like expressions like uh, silly, you idiot, like baka, mm, baka. and so. Mm. Uh, so and when you really, yeah, no. when you really so want to offend, mm -hmm. sorry? It's like so yaro. You know, like with like Vegeta, you know, no Vegeta in Dragon Ball Z. 
Mm-hmm. It goes like this. Like, Kusoyaro. It's not a bad word. Kusoyaro. Kusoyaro. Yaro, yeah. It's like two yeah. words, actually. But Japanese, uh-huh. they don't say bad words, actually. It's more like expression, like... Uh, there's no proper proper bad words in Japanese. That's 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 the point, you know. Or when they they go like baka, you know, it's baka is like stupid, you know. But it's there's no such thing as you know things that I know in Portuguese and that I can't say here. But you know what I'm talking about. I can't say bad words. I don't wanna you know do something stupid. But in Japanese, <laughs> there's no such thing. There's mm-hmm. no such thing in Japanese. Uh, people are talking about Sasha. Do you know Sasha, uh, Jill Valentine's model? Yeah, yeah. She, she's ignoring me. I tried to interview her. She's ignoring me. You sure about it? Yeah. N- let me try to see if I can contact her and get her in contact with you. I'll try to... Okay. The uh, okay, I actually, owe you she, one then. Actually, she recently added me on the... On Instagram, because I'm, go- I'm going to tell you something. I'm not used to social medias, you know. This is something new for me, like streaming. This is a new experience, mm-hmm. and I love it. I love it, guys. So that experience is something new for me. I used to have Instagram, like I started maybe when I started Resident Evil Project, 2008, I believe. Uh, 18, 2018, 2000, the end of 2007, but I was... You know, private. And then I became I became public recently. You know, because of Resident Evil, someone told me, you know, agency and you know, when you work, maybe you should do the promotion. So maybe you should go public. I didn't want to go public, but you know, obviously that's a good thing. But there is some bad things. There's crazy crazy people on social media. Yeah, I know, I know. Gente, ele tava falando que ele conhece a Sasha, ele até falou, vou, vou tentar conversar com ela, isso é ótimo. É, e aí ele falou que ele antes não era uma pessoa pública, agora que ele tá com essa coisa de rede social e tudo, que ele não era muito disso, nem de streaming, que ele tá gostando muito de streamar. Vamos chamar o Ben pra jogar a qualquer hora. E... You know what? Sorry, I'm just thinking, maybe, you... where did you contact uh, Sasha? Did you contact her? On Instagram? I tried to call her on Instagram. I mean, I, I sent messages to her. I sent mm. like 10 messages to her, like uh, asking for an interview after the DNA, uh, the, the NDA was over. Mm. And she never, she never answered. And I was like, hey, hi. Oh, hello. And she never answered. And, and then I tried to send an email and she ignored it. <laughs> so I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> okay, maybe I, because I'm receiving like a lot of messages, and you know, there's two sections. There's messages that you don't see, and messages that are clearly appearing in your box, right? In your mailbox, in your messages box. Maybe that's why she didn't see. And she has a lot of followers, much more than me and you. So maybe she mm-hmm. doesn't have the time to check all of them because. Maybe she's rece- receiving so many messages because she's a nice lady, believe me. She, she's really nice. Yeah, I think she never, she never saw the messages because it doesn't appear as viewed, you know, uh, read, yeah, that's read. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. If mm-hmm. it's not viewed, it means that it's in the, like, spam, if you prefer. There's a spam mm-hmm. in Instagram. Mm-hmm. And I don't check the spam anymore because uh, I'm telling you, like, these crazy people, they send you, like, unpleasant pictures. So I'm not uh-huh. checking it anymore. So maybe same thing ha- happened to her. And maybe it's even worse for her because <laughs> she's a lady. Just one second, I need to plug my phone. Okay, okay. She's Then a lady I'm, I'm gonna... and maybe okay. she's exposed to crazy people. So she doesn't, you know, she's getting pissed off from this. And I understand. I don't know if you're aware of what happened to uh, Eduardo uh, Baludara, the one who does Leon. Do you know him? I don't know him, but I know that he went private from, from public to private because because of harassment. People being very really yes, yes. I didn't know that. Gente, I'm telling you, there's crazy people on Instagram. 
And, um, ele falou que o modelo do Leon you know, sofreu tipo assédio e tal, e ele pegou e trancou o Instagram dele I've por heard, causa disso. I've heard this. I he he may be able to confirm or not. He just wants his privacy, and I understand his point, and I respect that guy, his work. So I understand, you know. I understand why some people just sometimes they just want to be distant and have a privacy. Because what's strange is. You know when people were trying to identify me, asking me if I was uh, the model for uh, Carlos Oliveira, I couldn't say anything because of my contract. Some people were being very nice to me, <coughs> you know? And uh, I agreed to talk after the April 3rd, you know, the official release. And there's some people that were, ve uh, were being not nice, but still polite, you know? But soon as they knew that I was Carlos, they started to become mean and sending crazy pictures. Now, so you don't know how to handle that. You don't know people. I'm so, so sorry. Distant. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about that. I'm, I mean, I'm fine. I'm really sorry. But there's people, like for a lady, it must, it must be very difficult for a lady, I think. Yeah, I, I think. I, I think it for Sasha, it's worse. Well, I know that she had a lot of bad, bad com comments in her, uh, like in her message section. I heard this from someone and I think that she, she just, you know, tired of this. But still, she's, uh, she's a beautiful woman. She's really nice. And uh, she's funny. I don't know if you saw her streaming so you can tell that she's just like me and you she's really nice and everybody oh. watching by the way hello oh. hello uh, gente vamos mandar corações pro ben porque ele recebeu tantas coisas ruins we are sending hearts for you ben because you deserve all the best uh, sasha deserves all the best and familia database It's thank a lot you. of love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Obrigado, obrigado, obrigado. Un, un grande beijo. É, a gente sabe que às vezes é difícil, né, gente? A gente imagina... Ele falou que o modelo do Leon sofreu assédio, por isso que ele trancou o perfil. O Ben falou que existem muitas pessoas ruins e que quando... Ele não podia falar. E logo que ele, que ele falou que ele era o Carlos, ele recebeu muito comentário ruim. A Sasha tá recebendo muitos comentários ruins. Então, isso é realmente muito triste. E aqui a gente faz o melhor, porque a gente quer, na verdade, aproximar esses modelos, esses dubladores, os produtores, todo mundo, a gente quer aproximar a comunidade dessas pessoas e vice-versa. Então, às vezes, é por isso que as pessoas não querem conversar, porque, infelizmente, existe esse lado podre das pessoas. We, we try to approach uh, the, the, the voiceovers and the models and the producers, uh, to show them uh, how the community can be strong and uh, united, but sometimes there are always the, the bad apples in the basket. So I'm sorry for this. I'm really sorry. It's all good. I'm, I'm fine. I know how to, uh, to deal with it. No, I'm like Zinedine Zidane, you know? You know, uh, if someone comes to me and be mean, I use my head and go like, you know, did you, <laughs> do you know that chapter? Of uh, uh, football, Zidane, Imazirazi. Zidane, uh, they did the head. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like him. Be, be careful, of Algerian guys. Be careful. Olha aí, gente, ele tá falando que ele é que nem o Zidane, ele é do mesmo país do Zidane. Ele falou que se vier com graça com ele, dá uma cabeçada, hein? Não vem, não. I am really short, Ben. I am like. Uh, I don't know the, the, those uh, feet measures. Okay, centimeter. So, centimeter. I don't use feet. Yeah, centimeter. I'm like 152 centimeters. 52? I'm really short. Yeah. I'm so really I'm, short. 30, I'm 31 centime centi centimeters taller than you. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, <laughs> I'm really short, but I'm, I'm just like a chihuahua. I'm just like a chihuahua. You do like not disturb me. 
<risos> Falei pra ele, eu sou baixinha, mas eu sou nervosa também. Mexe com quem tá quieto, não, tá? <risos> uh, ok, Ben. Uh, I'm gonna ask uh, people to send uh, two more questions. Gente, mandem mais duas perguntinhas aqui pra gente fechar a nossa conversa com o Ben, porque o tempo das lives no Instagram é limitado a uma hora. We have an hour uh, streaming. Uh, it's the limit of um, Instagram. So, uh, uh, while people are sending questions, we'll pick two uh, to answer. Can you, uh, can you talk about your Twitch, your Twitch uh, channel? Yeah. My Twitch account channel is the same name as my Instagram. You go on my profile, it's Benson underscore, it means like eight bar, you know, underscore, the touch, the keeper, uh, keep I touch eight, Mokhtar, and you'll, you'll find me. And okay, I'll be so more, maybe on Twitch in probably after this. Okay, uh, so uh, it's twitch.tv uh, slash Ben underline motor. Um, maybe, maybe Benson that's the request. Underline maybe motor. you go on Twitch and you look, you search for Benson Mokhtar, you will see my profile picture. And you type the, the ID name, same as my Instagram. It's mentioned on my Twitter. It's mentioned on my profile on Instagram. Just wanted to tell you about... Uh, the choice of the voiceover quickly. Carlos Oliveira, the ancient one, has a Latin voice, accent, with like a European looking guy. And the new Carlos is looking like me, Latin American guy, but with a Hollywood, a Hollywood voice. Maybe they switched, I think. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Gente, olha, ele tá na Twitch, procura por Benson Mokter. Hope it's not coronavirus. Up to. <laughs> Maybe that's the T virus. You know? I should have put my mask. It's fine. Damn it. You won't get, you, you, your device won't gonna get a virus. It's all good. Yeah. Gente, eu tô zoando ele falando que espero que não seja corona a tosse dele, Rosine. É, eu, ele falou que ele tem conta na Twitch. Procura lá por Benson Mokter. Ele falou que tá também no perfil dele. Então depois vocês sigam é, quem não segue ainda o perfil dele aqui. E depois ele falou que vai, inclusive, abrir live hoje. You're going to... You're gonna live stream after, after this yeah. live stream here. Yeah. Ok. Ele disse que ele vai fazer live logo depois, gente, da nossa live aqui. Então já segue lá na Twitch TV. Na twitch.tv barra Benson Underline Mokter. Ou alguma coisa assim, procura lá por Benson Mokter que vocês encontram ou no perfil dele. É, people are asking when you are coming to Brazil. When I'll get the invitation. I'll do some co co cosplay if you want to. Really? Yeah. If you, if you, if you get me the outfit... Maybe you contact Capcom, I contact them. We'll try to see if we can do like some something, who knows, after the quarantine. I'll Jesus. get dressed like I'll get dressed like Carlos. I'll go back to the gym, gain muscle like I did for the project, and I'll be the Carlos. And I'll leave my hair if you want to. You know my crazy. Please. Hair. Please. Still, Take still, off the hat. still not Langilla. Right? It needs to be yeah. longer. Well, maybe Just... I'm gonna get a, a wig or something, right? Okay, but you can let it go longer and then you do... <laughs> yeah, more Carlos now. Gente, ele falou que ele vem, tá? Ele falou que veio pro Brasil quando ele recebeu um convite, que aí ele fez até cosplay, vai malhar, vai fazer, vai ganhar, né, depois da quarentena, ganhar massa de novo, ficar fortão, que nem o Carlos, e que aí ele vem, tá, gente? Então, ó, encha um saco aí da BGS pra ver se chama ele, por favor, então, é nóis. E arruma, tem que arrumar a roupa pra ele, tá? Vou tentar falar com a Capcom. I'll try to contact Capcom, Capcom from Brazil and... Yeah. Talk about you and that Sasha. A, that would be a really nice experience. I can talk to Sasha and ex explain her. Maybe we can do something in Brazil or maybe even in Russia, in France or where, wherever we can do it. Why not? You know, so it would be yeah, fun. Yeah, something for Resident Evil database, maybe. While you're still quarantined, you could do something for Resident Evil database, maybe. <laughs> we'll... 
<risos> ok. Gente, vocês querem mais alguma pergunta pro Ben? Agora é a última, hein? Que eu não vou ficar tomando tempo dele, ele vai fazer live ainda, então já segue ele lá depois. A Capcom não aguenta mais a Moni. Pois é, gente, a Capcom já tá saturada de Moni já. Uh, deixa eu ver. Se... Ah, sim. Uh, there's a question here. Uh, is it a long time that you're a model? Do you like to be an actor? Yeah, I've been starting modeling in 2006-2007, but 2006 I didn't really did modeling at all. I was more focused on my study. I was in Canada, in Montreal by the time. Then I went to Los Angeles. That's where I really started acting and modeling. I was taking acting uh, classes, accent reducing classes, a lot of classes. Uh, then I went to Egypt learn, to learn classical Arabic. I went to Dubai. And I went to Japan to learn uh, Japanese to become an actor. But um, I'm still trying to make the transition from modeling to acting. But I started basically 2007, like properly. Ele falou que já faz tempo, gente, desde 2007 que ele, que ele vem estudando e que ele passou por vários lugares aprendendo idiomas. Um, people are asking about a DLC based on Carlos, maybe something new for Resident Evil 3. Do you have any, any idea if it's coming? I don't know. You have to contact uh, Capcom Osaka. I can send you the link of the, the studio in Osaka that was in charge of the game, of the project. Maybe you can try to contact them. Ok. Gente, eu falo que não sabe de nada. Ele vai falou que vai tentar até me mandar o link do do pessoal que fez o, no, né, fez o jogo e tal, né, mas ele não tá sabendo de nada. And um, there's a last question from, uh, from Nachi asking about uh, your next uh, projects in games. Can you talk about any of those? Um, I don't have any project to be, fr like, like playing video games on, on stream, that's what they, uh, they meant. Uh, being the, the model or the... I don't know, because such question is kind of a... It depends on the, the, the client, the, the, the video game industry. I'm not aware of any video game um, developer that is interested by me. Even Capcom, I wasn't aware that they were interested by me. It's just like mm -hmm. they contacted me and kept the whole... Sec they, they keep things secret you, you got to know that so they don't even share such information with me so i'm not okay. aware but I, okay. I, i wouldn't mind doing another project like this for sure yeah people are asking uh if you are going to be in re8 <laughs> in what in resident, resident evil, evil 8. 8. I think the, the main character is gonna be uh chris leon s kennedy campaign i'm not quite sure me neither. Oh. So is it a remake? No, no, no. Uh, Resident Evil 8, uh, we, we, don't, we only have rumors for mm. now. Like insiders no. talking about lots of stuff. And uh, actually, we have no concrete information. So, I think it's but you are a friend. Secret. Yeah, you, you are some... friends of uh, Jordi Dandy, right? Yeah, I know, jo I, I know Jordi. I know him very yeah, well. You... I've been working on many you could ask him. with him. Hmm? Yeah, you could ask Maybe him. Maybe he knows. Ask him. Yeah. Ask him, do you know Ben? He knows me. I know him. I know him. Yeah, and then you tell me. And I won't tell anyone because I'm just like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you. I, you can trust me. You can trust me. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> I I I I I bet you listen to this all the time. You can tell me. I won't tell anyone. I know you. If won't. you are, I know. if there is a DLC, you can tell me. I won't tell anyone. I bet you. I you, trust you. I you know listen. that you are um, reliable. I know that you don't leak things. No worry. I believe in you. You have a place here. Yeah. Oh. You are so cute, gente, o Carlos é, é fofo Tá vendo? Ele é fofo E, gente, sério, a gente começou A conversar, antes mesmo O jogo sair, a gente começou a conversar e eu nunca falei Tá? Eu nunca falei que era ele, tá? Então vocês veem que eu sou uma pessoa confiável Mas já sabia que era ele, tá? 
Gente, então, é, só respondendo essa última pergunta, é, ele é amigo né, do, do modelo do Chris, aí eu falei pra ele, ah, pergunta pra ele, né, se ele sabe de alguma coisa, porque se eu conto pra mim, mesmo não contar pra ninguém. Não, mas <risos> mas é, é isso, tá, gente? É, ben, uh, I want to thank you so much for this. Welcome. I know you have a live stream to start, so I won't say... No worries, I didn't, uh, I, I didn't give any time, I just say I'll be maybe around 11... Whatever, so I'm just taking my time. I'm, I'm a bit tired of playing video games. So I just <laughs> finished, just to let you know, I just finished uh, the hospital with Carlos. So last segment with Jill. Get on stream if you want to see me uh, yelling and getting mad. Um, Get in touch. When are you starting to live stream just after uh, this? Maybe, maybe 15 minutes after this, maybe. Gente, 15 minutos depois da que, a, que a nossa live acabar, ele vai começar a live lá na Twitch, hein? Aí vocês vão lá e falam que são do Resident Evil Database. Ben, thank you so much for your time. It was amazing. Uh, it feels like we, we know each other for like years. <laughs> It's so remember, amazing. Resident Evil is a big family, remember? Yeah, exactly. Especially Familia Database. <laughs> Familia, hola, Familia Database. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you so much, Ben. You're Muito welcome. obrigada. No um grande obrigado. beijo para você. Um grande beijo a todo. Grande beijo, beijo. Goodbye, beijo. see you. Bye, bye. Bye, bye.